Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and I went with Team Green for my next or future build. Let me explain and give you the reasoning behind it. So I want to kind of go over my reasoning. First off, many of our favorite content creators did videos on these particular GPUs and really appreciate the data and information they were able to provide. You know, Red Panda did a really great breakdown on this particular GPU. It is very efficient. There are some pros and cons, but looking at the hash rates and all the data, uh, you know, it's very efficient at mining Ethereum. It's okay at Ravencoin. It's decent at Ergo. Uh, some cryptocurrencies it couldn't mine like Cortex because it was out of memory or it's above, like it's, it's only six gigs. You know, you can, there's certain out cryptocurrencies that you can't mine with a four gig card. And eventually what's going to happen is six gigs won't be able to mine those cryptocurrencies either. But that's not happening for quite a while, right? And some, most cryptocurrencies are not going to hit the four gig for a few years and let alone the six gig for another few years. So I'm not really concerned about that, especially because other cryptocurrencies that I like, uh, I will be able to mine or switch my miners to. Now, I would like to see the Kryptonite GPU type coins be uh, uh, compatible with the A2000. Maybe miner devs are working on it. Maybe it's already worked on it by the time I get this up and running, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. And what I expect is, is even with EVE 2.0 on the horizon that I did take into account, I expect much of the hash rate to kind of dissipate. Maybe most of it will drop off and people sell their hardware and, and just get into validating and staking and all that stuff. But I expect much of the hash rate to shift to various cryptocurrencies, Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, Ergo, so on and so forth. And we can speculate all we want on that. Um, but I took all of that into account in my decision-making process, including what is my actual performance? What is my actual fiat value? And what am I gonna make per day for various cryptocurrencies? And I don't like to look at the fiat value, but if I were to build this right now, I'll be making around $20 a day. Uh, but again, I wanted to focus on the crypto amount or the amount of crypto I would get in 24 hour. And what that would do for me with these 12 GPUs is that would put me in the 0.025 ETH daily range, which is where I would like to be. I would like to be a lot higher than that, but that's okay. Um, and then the next cryptocurrency, Ergo, Zero, Flux, there's all kinds of other currencies that I can switch to with these GPUs. I don't plan on set having to sell them right away, and I expect to get quite a few years of usage out of it. Um, and with my entire farm together, as I mentioned, that will put me in the 0 0.025, 26, 27 range. And honestly, even if the GPUs aren't efficient, you know, ETH 2.0 comes and they're not as efficient as mine and Ravencoin and stuff like that, I have a bad tendency to not sell GPUs. Like here's an old HD 6500 uh, series. I got a GTX uh, 260 from GeForce. I got, you know, two uh, 760s from MSI that I can run in dual SLI. My 660s in my son's living room system. My 980 Ti is in my other son's system. Uh, I got uh, another HD 7500. Like I, I keep my cards, um, so I don't plan on selling. Is the point that I'm trying to make? And even if I do sell, maybe the resale value at that time would not be as high because it's not really a gaming centric card. It's more of a workstation card or budget workstation card. But still, uh, if I did sell, I, I, I still would recoup uh, some profit in those GPUs because I would have mined all this cryptocurrency during my time with them. And finally, I wanted to take into account thermals, right? Most importantly, my environment. And so Red Panda Mining shows us here the, the GPUs on an open air frame. Uh, and that's what most people would do or maybe a shelf or what have you. But I'm going to have this in the Octaminer X12 Ultra. And so the four, 140 mil fans are going to take the air from the front, blow it in, and then the little blower coolers, and those are really tiny fans actually, will suck it in and blow it out the back. And that's the way I want to design the airflow for my area for right now because I can't afford to build a shed. Eventually, I will migrate everything to a shed, but because I can't do it right now, I want to get the Octaminer up and to minimize the amount of thermal influence the system has on my house, the A2000 is perfect. It's efficient. It's lower thermals than it would be if I were to get a bunch of 3080s, 3090s, 3060Ti's or whatever. It would be lower thermals that I have to compete with. And you can see here, I got to worry about power constraints, 
right? Because I, I, I have a 30 amp breaker, I have a 240 volt, I have plenty of room to grow because I'm only using half of the amount of watts or amps that I, that I have designed in this system. But with this, there's no six pin. The, the cards have no six pin whatsoever. So I don't even have to worry about that. And because the Octominer already provides power and it's already routed for the motherboard, I, I won't even have to worry about that whatsoever. I can just plug these GPUs in, get it set up, get it started, and not have to worry so much about thermals, not have to worry so much about power, and just be efficiently mining my various cryptocurrencies while adding to my total rigs until I can afford to build a shed and move everything to. Once I move everything to that shed, I do plan on possibly upgrading the A2000s to maybe a different style card, but I do want to keep it with a blower um, like maybe the BC160 or, or maybe some CMP card uh, if they come out with if Nvidia comes out with a newer one in the future I would like to do that but in a server case I prefer blower style coolers um, you can use open air but I prefer blower and then in open air frames I you know you, blower style coolers obviously are better when the blowers have issues because the heater just being transferred to the next one and to the next one so a lot of my decision making came down to you know my wife's comfort right i don't want to cause more heat in our household making her uncomfortable causing my ac to run more causing my electric to go up more i also want to stay within my power constraints of my 130 amp breaker and my 240 volt line which i will be and i'll still have room to add two more rigs if i really wanted to but obviously we're having to deal with the heat as the biggest constraint so i do need to build that shed and migrate stuff that will eventually will happen, just not right now. This A2000 setup with all 12 GPUs and the Octominer X12 Ultra will actually help me get it up and running sooner rather than later and not have to worry too much. It's still going to be some heat, but I'm not going to have to worry too much about the heat impacting our lives, my family, my wife, stuff like that. So that's the bulk of my decision making on why I chose these GPUs. They are super efficient. Yeah, they only have six gigs, but I'm not worried about the DAGs getting so big, at least for the cryptocurrency that I'm, I'm really focused on. Uh, but I'm interested to hear your thoughts. What would you have done considering the thermal power and uh, you know your, your, your mining inside your house, an open area, not in a bedroom? What would you have done? What, would, what GPUs would you have chosen? 12 GPUs and the X12 Ultra, what would you have chosen? Let me know down in the comments. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And uh, do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on, as well as check out some of the links in the description to help support us and what we do here, like the dojo.com where you can get sweet Serpent X merch and much more. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. Mm -hmm.